I'm gonna do a hitting tips video because I have nothing else to talk about today. So, how do you win online games? Hitting. How do you hit? Practice. Why should you listen to me? I'm 59 and 9 in ranked, which is pretty good. So I can hit. I'm not the best hitter in the world, there are people that are a lot better than me. However, I'm pretty decent at hitting, I want to say. The most important thing for hitting at a high level in this game is to go into your settings, go into gameplay, go over to offense, swing interface, zone, 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 zone. It is harder at first, yes. Timing is easier, yes. Directional is easier, yes but you will never be as good on timing as you can be on zone. It's so important, it is the most important tip. That's why it's number one. It is by far the most important tip. Wait, that's weird. Oh, I, ju I just heard something really weird. I heard that you guys aren't subscribed when I'm giving you tips on how to hit better. You guys might beat me in games because I'm telling you how I hit. And you're not even gonna subscribe to me to say thank you? That's not very nice. Look at this. Over 90% of my viewers aren't even subscribed to me. And you're one of them? You're one of that 90%? That's that's not very nice. Can't you just subscribe? I'm giving you tips. Okay, so for the second tip, I'm gonna go into a game and go over to my settings. Now, camera. The hitting view is one of the most important things to understand in this game. So I use strike zone for my hitting view because it is a very zoomed in and it's easy to see the ball. To change your camera angle, you're gonna go onto the camera settings and you're gonna change your hitting view. If you think that fisheye is your best hitting camera angle, you're probably wrong and you should probably look through the other hitting camera angles because this is almost impossible to hit. You're at a huge disadvantage if you're not playing on one of the strike zones. However, some of these other strike zones are pretty good, like strike zone high is okay, but you definitely do want to stay in one of the strike zones because they are just by far the easiest way to see the baseball. Straight strike zone is the one that I use, it's the one that's the closest, it's the one that I can see the best in, and it's the one where the baseball looks the biggest, which is very important. Now the third tip that I'm going to talk about is pretty similar and it's about changing up your PCI. So what I use is basic on the inner, none on the outer, white for the color, 70% for the transparency with no fade out, and then the center I use diamonds. This is all preference. There's nothing that's better or worse like gameplay wise for this. It's just what you are the best with. If you like having an outer one, turn on your outer one. It's it, it's all the same, it's just whatever you're most comfortable with. I know a lot of people like this bat one, I personally do not. Even though I did just hit a perfect perfect. So it, it's all just a matter of like experimenting and figuring out which PCI feels the best for you because it's gonna be different for everybody. Another tip is just a mindset tip. This is something that people don't really think about when playing this game, but you have to be up here and you have to be comfortable and confident. You have to go into at-bats telling yourself that you are better than your opponent and you are going to get a hit. So I'm going into this at-bat right now thinking, yeah, I'm gonna be able to hit this baseball. I'm not, I, like, I'm not scared of the at-bat. Even in a big situation with a runner on third, one out, and like the ninth inning and you're down by one, you have to be confident. Cause if you're not, you're gonna be late and you're gonna be second guessing and you're not gonna be able to get hits. You have to go into at-bats with a mindset of, I'm going to be able to get a hit here. I am better than my opponent, I will get a hit here. One of the best ways to gain confidence in this game is to use custom practice. Custom practice is very important for people to understand. So if there's a pitcher that you struggle against, like say you struggle against Nolan Ryan here, you're gonna be able to face Nolan Ryan with a card from your Diamond Dynasty team and you're just gonna be able to practice against Nolan Ryan. This is a really good way to get comfortable off of pitchers and also increase your confidence. So my main goal in custom practice is to improve my eye and also be aggressive at the same time. I don't wanna let any pitches that are in the strike zone go. Every single pitch in the strike zone I wanna swing at, but every single pitch outside of the strike zone I don't want to swing at because you're there's no outs so just swing at every pitch inside the strike zone but try your absolute best to avoid swinging at pitches outside of the strike zone that's gonna lead me on to my next tip though don't be afraid to be patient and aggressive at the same time so there's a difference between being patient and being passive 
So when you're patient, you're looking for a pitch. If I'm online and I'm looking for a fastball first pitch and I get it, swing at it. However, don't swing at a curveball first pitch if you're looking for a fastball. But be aggressive on that pitch that you're looking for. So first pitch, I want an up and in fastball. Let's say that that's what I'm looking for. So I don't get it, so I don't swing. Even if that was in the strike zone, you should not swing there unless it is that first pitch fastball early in account. Don't just go swinging because it's in the strike zone. The nicest thing about custom practice is you can force a pitcher to throw any pitch in any location. So if I struggle with inside sinkers, I can have Nolan Ryan throw all inside sinkers for strikes. And then I can just focus on turning on an inside sinker with Mickey Mantle. And I'm just going to focus on being earlier instead of later. Like right there, I'm late. So I just need, I need to see another one. Also, if you press, if you press right stick when the ball is in the air, it, it resets the play so you don't have to watch the whole, like, animation of the ball carrying and stuff. That doesn't really matter. All that matters is your feedback and just make sure that you're looking at your feedback after every swing. My timing's pretty off. And again, I know that this pitch is coming, so it's gonna be easier to hit, but it's something that you have to be ready for and being comfortable with a pitch it might not seem like a lot but once you get online you're gonna be less afraid of that pitch inside and you're gonna be less wary of it because you know that you can hit it another tip for custom practice is playing on a higher difficulty than you normally play on so right now I'm 700 rating in ranked so I would be playing on Hall of Fame However, why not try practicing on Legend to see if I can also hit that specific pitch that I just was practicing on Hall of Fame. You're not going to see a pitch this hard on Hall of Fame, so if I can hit it on Legend, then it's going to be way easier to hit on Hall of Fame. So because this is on Legend, nothing's going to be this hard on Hall of Fame. This, I'm, It's going to get easier once I go into the actual game. You want to practice on things that are harder than what you actually play. That way you can be ready for whatever comes in ranked or BR or whatever mode. Do this every time you get on the game before you go online. So like this is the first time I've been on the game today. So this is my warm up. So I'm just warming up right now. I would recommend doing this for 10 to 15 minutes before you get onto your online play every single day if you can once you feel good hitting one pitch maybe try adding in a second pitch so now i'm going to add the curveball too i'm going to stick with the same location see if i can just differentiate between pitches that's another part of warming up making sure that your eyes are reading the ball well too you have to take custom practice like it is a real game situation take practice as seriously as you would take a ranked game because you're not going to improve if you're not giving 100% into practice. And if you want to know how to get some of the best cards in the game, then watch this video right here.